We had lived on our little farm for almost a year. By this time, we had settled in and we were all very happy. I loved farm life. It was fun to be around the horses and the llama. We had special chickens called arucanas that laid blue eggs. I would take our basset hound for a walk every day. Overall, life was good. The only thing that was missing were other kids. Yes, we had my little sister, but she was still too young to do anything interesting. I wanted friends who were my own age, and preferably boys, since I hadn't learned that girls could be cool yet. At the time, the only kids that I wanted to hang out with were other boys. Since then, I learned that girls could do all the same things that boys could do. And in fact, some girls liked the same things that I did. But at the time, all I knew about girls was that they played with dolls, and they pretended to bake, and they didn't like insects, and that they sometimes squealed. Creepy dolls and squealing did not sound like a good combination to me. Our nearest neighbors had moved out shortly before we moved in, but we noticed that someone had moved into that house. Mom had seen bikes being unloaded from the moving truck and said that one looked like it would be for someone my size. She thought that the new neighbors might have kids. That would be cool. I hoped it was a boy my age, someone with whom I could go on adventures, a boy who I could go fishing and searching for salamanders with, a boy who liked lacrosse and soccer, someone to go skateboarding with, someone who wouldn't think that my little sister was the cutest thing in the world while I thought she was just smelly. Perhaps my neighbor would be a little older than I was and he could be like a, a, a big brother. It was true. I had wanted a big brother or a little brother, and I ended up with a sister instead. At Ernesto, my sister was all right and starting to be fun to do things with, but having a little sister was nothing like a big brother, or a little brother for that matter. I just wanted someone my age and someone who I could do cool things with. I couldn't wait to meet my new neighbor. Mom was right. Our new neighbors did have kids, and one of them was my age. A few days after Mom had discovered the moving truck and the bikes at the neighbor's house, I was walking our basset hound, Sandor. Uh, my mother named him when we adopted him. As we moved along, passing our horses, I noticed a girl feeding carrots to my horse, Daffodil. Daffodil picked his head up and he looked at me. He, he always recognized me. Hello, I said to the girl. She was tan with brown hair and light brown eyes. Hi, the girl smiled. Is this your horse? Yes, his name is Daffodil, I said. <laughs> That's a funny name for a boy horse, the girl said. I had thought it was the perfect name for the horse. He was a Palomino and was golden like the flower. Uh, I named him, I said. He's a Palomino. And that's what his color's called. I named him because he's golden like the flower. Daffodils were my favorite flowers, which were another reason that I named him that. And... Why was this girl questioning what I called my horse? Well, I still think that I would name a girl horse after a flower, the girl said. She wasn't mean. She was smiling. She had a really friendly smile. She was wearing boat shorts and the same kind of hiking shoes that I wore. I like your dog. What's his name? His name is Sandor. He's a basset hound. Do you live around here? I asked, deciding to change the controversial subject of horse names and to avoid any controversial discussions about dog names. Yeah, we just moved in a few days ago, she said, pointing at the house. I'm really excited to live near horses and hiking trails. Oh no, my new neighbor was a girl. Ugh. There were girls everywhere in my house, and now the only neighbor my age was one. I love it here, she continued. The house is bigger than our old one, and I have my own room, so I don't have to share a room with my little sister. Ugh. Two girl neighbors? I'd never have another dude to hang with until I was a grown-up, and I bet that room that she had all to herself was filled with creepy dolls. I wonder if her sister was still in diapers like mine. Great. Another smelly baby girl as well, I bet. I decided it was time to get walking with Sandor. As I started walking, this girl started walking with me. I had not invited her to come along. My daddy had occasionally said that girls do what they want. I guessed this was one of those occasions. 
At least she wasn't carrying along a doll. Where are you guys going? she asked. For a walk, I answered. I noticed that her shorts had a little bit of mud on them. Great! You can show me around, she said. I had not offered. Oh well. Sandor seemed to like her. Okay, my name is Jason, I said. I'm Alex, she said. Alex? Wasn't that a boy's name? What was it she'd been saying about my horse having a girl's name? Isn't that a boy's name? I couldn't resist, I had to ask. No, it's short for Alexandra, she explained as if I had no clue about anything. I was named after my grandma. I was named after my pop-pop, Jason. He's my mom's dad, I said. I named my little sister, Ernesto, after my other grandpa. I like it, Alex said. I like it when girls have boy-sounding names. Oh, look, she pointed at a snake curled up on the rock. I started to walk over to the snake when she stopped me. Don't, don't get too close. That's a copperhead. They're venomous. How did she know what kind of snake that was? I'd never seen one of them before, only little garter snakes in the garden. Are you sure? I asked. Yes, she said, picking up a long skinny stick and carefully pointing it at the snake. See the shape of his head? How it looks thicker in his body, sort of chunky? That's a viper, and copperheads are vipers that live around here. Wow. Okay, I was impressed. How do you know that? Most people my age couldn't identify what type of snake it was. I couldn't. My dad's a biologist. He works with a lot of different kinds of animals, Alex explained. On one project, my dad had to count different species of snakes. He showed me pictures of them all and how to identify them. I like animals, and I love snakes. And birds. I love animals, too, I said. My dad is a vet. My mom is a journalist. Cool, Alex said. My mom's an artist. I sometimes help them working on different projects. And as we walked and talked, I became really happy that Alex was my new neighbor. I learned that she also liked to play soccer and lacrosse and go skateboarding. I also learned that Alex loved science, especially biology. And she also loved birds and hiking in nature. She also enjoyed climbing trees, acrobatics, and tumbling. I wasn't really even sure what that was. Alex told me that her family moved to the new house because it had more room for Alex's parents' projects, and it had a pool. She liked that there was so much nature to see right outside her door. Alex also had a lot of pets, almost as many as we did. She had four cats, a dog, and the animals that her father worked with, which changed depending on what his project was at the time. Alex was much more like a boy. She only looked like a girl, and that was fine with me. I had a friend who lived right near me, and she liked to do all the same things that I did. Alex and I stayed friends throughout our school years, into college, and beyond. We're still friends. Our parents became friends. Alex also proved a point that my grandpa at Ernesto had made when my little sister was born. Girls and boys are all different. A lot of girls like the same things that boys like. And he was right about that. From that first day, my friendship with Alex taught me not to prejudge people, but to instead get to know them. And since I met Alex, I have followed that advice and made many more friends over the years, some that were a lot like me and some that were very different. But all are equally special and valuable to me. Thank you for watching. Please click on my right to subscribe if you like the video. And don't forget to click on the bell icon when you subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload a new video. Watch more videos on the left, including our playlist. And thank you again.